What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video and of course another Sunday night Q&A. What I do every Sunday is post a picture up on my Instagram, have you guys ask me any question you'd like. It could be anything in the world. Uh, usually I pick 10 questions. It's probably going to be a little bit more for this Q&A. Of course I try to answer every single question to the best of my ability. So without further ado guys, let's get to those questions. What's going on guys? So again, you're going to be watching uh, my ride from this morning. This is actually my commute into work. So I kind of like the format of this. I like just showing you guys the footage from the day and how I go about my rides and everything like that and kind of just putting this in the background. So hope, hopefully you guys like the format and everything. Uh, so we'll get to it. The first question is going to be coming from Red Cow Maiden. It says, would you recommend getting a, or recommend beginners to get power meters? What's the best bang for your buck power meter? Um, I do not at all recommend beginners get power meters at all. I think uh, analyzing the data and getting super technical at a stage where you need to be as non, or at least technical, non-technical as possible is the best course of action. So, uh, but the best bang for your buck power meter, I'm going to say is going to be stages or the pioneer power meter so um bob uh kupniewski kupniewski i can never get it right man any guest features in your upcoming trolling challenge videos by that he's referring to the restaurant trolling video that i just did which i will be coming out with more episodes soon so um right now i don't have any guests that i'm planning on featuring but i do have some epic uh trolling videos coming up so you guys should stay tuned for that um the next question is going to be coming from uh, Chelsea Lifts, who says, I'm in San Diego the 28th through the 3rd. What challenge, what eating challenge are we going to do? Obviously, Chelsea, I'm, got, I'm not going to reveal it right now. It's got to be a surprise. So, uh, or if I did want to do a challenge right now, I could reveal the broccoli, raw broccoli eating challenge. Round two. <laughs> no. No way in hell I'd ever do that again. Um, Joe Tyner asks, what was your first ever eating challenge? Uh, my first ever eating challenge was at a place called the Broken Yoke, which is also on Man Versus Food. So, um, the next question is going to be coming from Faith Fit, who says, "Do you hope to own your own bike shop one day?" That would be great. I would love to own my own bike shop, but right now, um, I'm at a current mental stage after how busy today was, where I don't even want to talk or look at bikes really. <laughs> You just you go through days like that in retail and um, that cycling footage though right there guys. Anyways, um, but yeah, so you go through days where you kind of just like you're you're overselling stuff. This could be the case for I mean, say you sell jewelry, you sell um, screw it, you sell video games. I don't know. You just you just get so tired of talking about it that you just are just like. I don't want to, I, I'm over it. That's kind of where I'm at right now. Uh, but long story short, yes, one day, I mean, that would be cool to own my own bike shop. I don't plan, that's not my goal is to own one, but it would be really cool. Uh, next question is going to be coming from Yah Yahia Kusir, who says, how do you feel after the latest challenge? Now, the latest challenge, everybody, was probably volume-wise, uh, if I were to rate it on a scale of 1 to 10, about like my max capacity, that was probably about a seven or an eight. Uh, it's really funny to see how many people, literally how many people looked at my latest challenge and were like, bro, you didn't eat all the wing off the, or off the, you didn't eat all the meat off those wings. Strong feel there. But it's like, you can't literally go into one of those challenges and like spend meticulously taking the cartilage, like licking like every minute, piece of meat off every single bone. It's just not the way it works, guys. I know it's like, it. it's so funny too, because if I don't do that, um, then it's in another video, it's like, oh, you sped it up or you put a transition there, you put a cut there, obviously you didn't eat the, all the, the food, you changed your shirt there, it's not, not legit, dude. It's like, there's always gonna be something, guys. So that's kind of my little rant about it, but um, long story short, I just really don't care. <laughs> It's just really amusing. Uh, but in terms of how I feel, uh, that was very, the recovery from that was pretty hard. You guys will see in the next vlog that I'll post, uh, if not in, no, it's definitely not gonna be tonight, but tomorrow, this week sometime, recovery from that is very hard because I don't eat meat on a regular basis other than my challenges. So eating that much meat at one time is just, 
Yeah, I don't recommend it. Um, now, next question is going to be coming from um, Angia Anarchy. Uh, best concert you've ever been to? What band, past or present, would you most love to see live? Best band uh, that I would, um, well, best concert I've ever been to was the Event Sevenfold live in the LBC that they filmed in the L in the Long Beach Col Coliseum. I actually got to see them film that, and that was uh, I got to see their drummer, the Rev, play before he died, which is, I mean. Being, uh, when you see a band live, it's one thing, but when you see them shoot their DVD there, it's like a totally different story. It's awesome. Uh, what band, past or present, would I love to most see live? Um, I'd love to see, I don't know, Metallica would be pretty cool. Um, I'd love to see Slayer. I'm into those types of bands too, so. Uh, significance of the chain you wear on your wrist, and also, do you have any tips for dealing with body image during recovery? asked by Grayson01 and that's pretty cool. Um, I get asked about the um, blue bracelet that I usually wear. I'm actually not wearing it anymore but this one right here, um, this chain has been with me um, for I would say six years I've been wearing this. This has always stayed on my wrist and uh, this was with me. It's, a, it's like a sentimental thing. I had this on during my inpatient stay during a lot of hard times in my life and stuff like this I want to keep on my body and I, I it's weird because like I actually had to switch this over to my other arm the other day just because I was I think the metal is like causing me to get really itchy on this hand but even that was like causing me anxiety to like move that to my other wrist I was like this is weird but yeah it's sentimental value to me I just have always had it on uh, next question is gonna be from Sofia Delpino Delpino Del, Del, I don't know Del, Delpino I'm so sorry guys I'm like out of it today. What, um, in your opinion, is a weekly cheat day harmful to progress? Uh, I don't, guys, I don't recommend cheat days at all. I don't recommend cheat meals. Uh, I don't recommend cheating of, of your diet. I don't believe in it. Um, if you're looking at it strictly from a fat loss perspective, if you have these so-called cheat days, yes, it will ruin your progress. I mean, obviously dependent on the person but uh, you're gonna be going over your designated caloric needs by uh, most, let's just be honest here, cut the BS. People that go out and do these full-blown cheat days, um, they eat a lot of food that they don't normally eat and um, they consume upwards of, I mean, an, I mean, caloric surplus can be thousand, I've seen a thousand to five thousand excess calories consumed and that can cause, that can set you back. I mean, if we're looking at it strictly from a progression standpoint, it's going to set you back. So that's my direct answer to that question. And you guys know my stance on cheat days is I don't actually recommend them. That's kind of my deal with that. Um, now, the next question is going to be coming from Cassie Powell, who says, is your family supportive of your competitive eating challenges? And my family is fully supportive of them. That's kind of a straightforward answer there. Uh, Kenny Bolo Baloney asks, <laughs> any tips on how to gain the right weight? Um, in my opinion, there is no right weight. There's always gonna be, um, I mean, if you're talking about gaining muscle mass and having zero fat, it's just not the way things work, dude, unless you're on the apple juice or you're just genetically Superman. That's just the way I view it. Um, now the last question from Instagram is going to be uh, coming from Pups who says, do you think the fact that your diet is largely plant-based and your high activity levels are factors that help you recover from food challenges very easily for the most part or do you believe it's your large appetite and experience that makes it possible? I think it's a combination of both. Um, but in the grand scheme of things, shout out to that guy that was just riding on the sidewalk in the opposite way. Well, it, I guess it could be horrible. It could be much worse if he was riding in my lane going the opposite direction. I don't recommend that, everybody. Anyways, um, <clears throat> I think it's a combination of everything. I think it's, um, but more importantly, it's your cardiovascular level. So, um, the I've shown you guys my blood work and everything before, but the fact of the matter is, is if you're doing cardio on a regular basis, and for me, it's pretty much every day, um, the, uh, you're gonna be able to, um, recover from eating, I mean, a large amount of food very quickly, in my opinion. Um, now, having a, a pretty decent cardio level has allowed me to have, in my opinion, as 
pretty good blood blood work and when you have good blood work you're able to um, your body's obviously in a healthy state you're able to recover that way so I mean that's just the way I see it and I have a plant-based diet too so I had to floor it by the way through that light that was crazy I went like 28 miles an hour through that light but I got through it um, but yeah I mean at, at the end of the day if you keep a healthy lifestyle healthy diet outside of all these challenges you guys it's gonna be fine you don't have to really worry about um, all of that for the most part. long so, day was long this is after work, by the way so Got in uh, right before we opened, right around 10.30, and then this is me coming home after at like 5.30. But um, yeah, apart from that, now we're gonna move to Snapchat. Uh, the first question from Snapchat is, do you track your macros? I get this question a lot, and this is from Joel. Um, the straightforward answer to the question is no, I currently don't track my macros um, consistently or regularly. Regularly is a better word for that. Um, like last night, I wanted to get a better indication of, um, cause I, I woke up feeling amazing today. And when I feel, woke up, when I wake up feeling amazing, I want to know what I did the day before to get me to that point. So I can essentially, you know, obviously sleep is another big factor to it as well. But if I didn't, like, I didn't have like a very good amount of sleep last night, but I had a good quality of sleep. And when I get quality of sleep, I know I've, I've been eating a lot more during the day yesterday. So I wanna, I wanna know what my macros were throughout the day so I can obviously replicate that and you know wanna do it ideally that way every day. So in that sense, cool, I'll do it. Um, but that was like the first time I've tracked in probably I would say about a month maybe, but not really that important to me. Um, I don't know who asked this question, but they said the biggest fear in terms of your future life. Very personal, sorry. Um, biggest fear in terms of my future life. I don't really like to worry about the future. Um, I literally just, I try as hard as I can to not future trip and to wake up every day and be as sporadic as I can with it. So, um, I mean, that's just the way I prefer to do it. So I don't really have a future fear. Um, right now, I'm my if I were to just give an answer to it, I'm still, I need to find out what I want to do with my career. And I'm going through school. I don't, I don't want to just graduate and, um, shout out to those tan lines though. Goodness gracious. Uh, I don't want to just graduate with a degree and be like, hey, cool, I'm done. You know, I want to make sure I have a plan. Um, and this person right here asked, sorry, if he wants to show you guys. Shout out to you, I don't know your name. Uh, what's the longest bike ride you've been on? Love ya exclamation point love you too uh my longest bike ride i've been on is 102 miles i believe um and the next question is going to be coming from prisco law who says uh five things that you want to do that you haven't done yet um uh, five things i want to do i want to travel i want to uh meet cool people i want to i mean i still feel like i haven't really yeah, I'm a big YouTube channel yet. I think, feel like it could be a lot better. Uh, four would be graduate from school, and five would be to meet an awesome girl. That was pretty pathetic. Um, <laughs> opinion on calorie counting. Uh, can this cause a poor relationship with food? I've done a few videos on this. Um, calorie counting it can be taken to extremes just like a lot of other things. Um, the last question is going to be coming from Jason who asks, would you take any sponsoring contracts? Now, uh, this is a pretty controversial question, I guess you could say, but, um, sponsorships versus affiliate. I mean, I went over this a while back when I was doing the Cellucor thing, but there's nothing wrong with sponsorships at all. Um, I actually plan on, um, having a few, uh, different stuff being sent to me. I mean, if you guys have seen it in a video, I mean, cool. That's just. It's just me putting information out there for you. I don't, bottom line is like, I don't stand behind any product or anything out there like without me supporting it. Like no one is going to come to me and say, hey, you need to say this, blah, 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 blah. Cause I stand for me, this is my channel and everything. So um, I'm not gonna support it if it's, I'm not gonna put it out there if I don't support it essentially. So that's pretty much it. So yeah guys, that's been the Q and A. Stay tuned for the rest of the video. 
So that's it for the Q&A, everybody. Hope you guys enjoyed it. It's been a long week for me, so I'm going to be trying to get out another video for you guys tomorrow. Um, lots happened, so stay tuned for that. If you guys haven't already, feel free to follow me on my social media. Facebook, Snapchat, Twitter, Instagram. You know the drill. Thanks again for watching the video, guys, and go ride a bike. Just make sure it's a giant. Vegeta, what does the scouter say about his power level? It's over 9,000! What, 9,000? Oh.